Welcome friends and collectors, you have joined me for another brand new edition of Diecast Emporium. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at another addition to the Diecast Masters 150th scale weathered series of cat machines. Item number 85704, 150th scale cat 745 weathered articulated truck. Now this articulated dump truck has been released in a factory clean finish before. It is the exact same model except for this has the weathered effects and finish to it. If you'd like to see my review of the 745, the clean one, the first one that was released, take a look at the top portion of your screen. Now for the rest of us, let's continue with the unboxing. You can see that it comes in a large white outer shipping box with the description on the sides and the front and back. Slice open one of the Diecast Masters tapes. Doesn't really matter which one you do. The packaging of the Weathered series is very similar to the Evolution series of cat models in that it is a pop-open shoebox style, as some people may refer to it as. So let's pull out the model's box. Get it the right side round. There we go. There's the side Weathered Series with the Weathered Series logo. Again, the item number and the description. This is simply just the sleeve. So let's take it out of the sleeve. And finally, we can see the model's actual box. Again, Weathered Series. Picture of the model and the resin base that is included on this side. So how do you open this? Well, grab the bottom right here. Make sure that you pop it open, just like this. And on the very top, you can probably just see here in the background, is the CAT 745. This is the exact model, including the correct paint and the modern hex decals that you will see on this truck. Here is the Diecast Masters catalog for 2022. Always encourage collectors to hang on to that. They can mark off what's in their collection and what models they still want to purchase. Now, there is a few things inside this box. Most of the things are packaging material, but we also have a simulated load of sand that you can put in the dump box of the truck if that's what you want to do. Next, out of the box, we have our articulated dump truck. There we go. But we're not done yet. We still have one more thing inside the box, and that is the aforementioned resin base that you can use to place and display your truck on if that's something you want to do. With the truck out of the box, everything is assembled on it, so there's no assembly required. You are ready to display it. All right, welcome everyone. We've got everything back out now. Let's take a look at the resin base first. Here you can see that a good effort has been put into detailing this, including getting accurate tread marks and wheel marks inside of the dirt or the sand. There's even more built up material here. And if you so desire, you can place your model directly in the center of the resin base, and it makes for a great eye-catching display inside your display case or on your desk. The other bit of accessory that is included is this plastic simulated load of sand. Again, if you want to pose your truck with a full load, you just drop it in like that. Looks pretty realistic. I like it a lot. All right, as for the details and decals, we can see that there has been a noticeable improvement and step up from previous models in the Weathered series, like the D90 and the 320F, because we have wearing and dirt and scuff marks on the sidewalls and really all over the tires. Also, as you go up from bottom to top, you can see that the dirt and the scraping and the weathering gets lighter, just like on a real piece of equipment, because obviously the bottom parts of the vehicle are going to touch the elements much more than the top, unless you roll one over, of course. Looking in the back, here's what the dump box looks like with more scraping. On the top of the cab, this is a subtle detail that I really like a lot. You can see some of the dust and dirt particles which have caked onto the top portion of the cab. Speaking of the cab and who's inside it, our favorite operator figure, Bob, is stuck in there for the rest of his life. He is not removable in this version of the model. As for functionality, it's an articulated dump truck, so it is on wheels, so the wheels will roll. It steers by, well, articulation. And even though the articulation joint is somewhat hampered, particularly to the left direction versus the right direction, you can achieve and mimic articulated steering. We're not done yet. Obviously, this is a dump truck with the dump box that needs to be dumped out. And you can get a really good angle. I'm very pleased with it. And that's helped along by these extra long 
hydraulic cylinders. Another part of this model is the opening engine cover, which is nice to pose, especially with a dirty truck. So if you have a mechanics truck or other vehicle, you can pose it getting some maintenance done underneath the hood. So, I mentioned this is one of a couple new additions to the Diecast Masters weathered line and weathered series. It looks great just by itself, but let's bring in the other weathered model that recently was released, the 966M wheel loader. And the two of these also make for a pretty interesting display as they are machines that you would find in the real world often working with each other as they are around the same size as in the 966 is rated and paired well with a 745 articulated dump truck. That'll bring this episode of Diecast Emporium to a close. Let me know what you think of the weathered series by Diecast Masters. Would you like to see more? Perhaps throw out some improvements that they can do on future models. I certainly would like to see a little bit more dirt and mud buildup on all of these trucks. I don't know how exactly they would achieve that, but it would be super cool to see different pieces that are caked up inside the wheel wells and fenders and certainly these mud flaps of course would be covered on the inside where they are plain because that's obviously where your dirt and rock and mud's going to go but overall if you are looking for factory built and factory assembled weathered finished models that you don't have to weather and do yourself these are two solid options with the 745 out of the two being my favorite of the two. Thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and hit the subscribe button underneath this video. It costs you nothing but a moment of your time and it greatly helps out with the channel. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.